Hey guys, what's going on? As you already probably know, there is a new block in Minecraft. A new redstone block, in fact. It is the target block right here, and it is fantastic. It's a new redstone block, and today I just want to go through three simple ideas for some circuits using the target block here. We have a new way of transporting a redstone signal. We've just got a dispenser here filled with arrows. Of course, you can use any projectile you would like. You can use... Uh, snowballs here if you uh, if you have like a snow golem farm you can use snowballs so if you put them in the dispenser of course that'll fire the snowballs as well here I've got a little example of how you can use it to fire another dispenser and then have the redstone signal travel all the way down to there and you can actually probably continue this on quite a way and here just another simple example of using a uh, target block to power a T flip flop and have a constant power source running so you can you can virtually have this running for as long as you like in these like loaded chunks and it is a perfect way to transport redstone signal right here this one we need our bow for and i'm sure you guys can already guess what this is it's just a basic redstone door using the target block as the switch and up here we just have a comparative pulse extender which is then depowering this torch, which opens up the door. So we have been looking for something like this for quite some time. There has been a lot, a lot of demand for this. People have been using glitches where the arrows go through blocks onto pressure plates and things, but this, this thing is perfect. And of course, this target block right here doesn't do anything. It's just there for the sake of decoration. If you guys would like, you can take a quick look at this. It's just a simple piston door. And yeah, this is this is all of the redstone that goes into it. I'm sure it could be compacted even more, but that is all I could come up with. I'm not a very good redstoner. Here, though, this could be a pretty cool idea for someone who's either got really good aim or for an archery range, right? So in here, we've just got a hopper filled with items, which means that this comparator is out with a signal strength of 15, which means if you hit anywhere on this block except the bullseye, then this light is not going to turn on. So you need to hit it directly in the bullseye. You can see I didn't even hit it right there. And only with a signal strength of 15. Jeez. <laughs> you need to have really good aim for this. I can't even hit it. I can't even hit it. So you can see this is a really good way to test your aim. And you could actually... One cool way of doing this would be to have a piston like this. You just set up like a, a little redstone clock here. So you go uh, observer, sorry, facing this way into the piston. Another one facing this way. And then you have your target block on top here. Cover this all up and then you have to try and hit it you can actually see if you hit it <laughs> if you do hit it square on then the piston will stop firing for a little while oh like that oh that's how you know you've hit it oh that is that is actually pretty cool that's pretty cool Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this little short video on the target block and some very simple circuits you can make with it. Hope to see you guys in the next one and until then guys, ciao for now.